Welcome back. Difficult conversations with a family member happen, and when they do, things can get uncomfortable. Maybe it's a small issue you're arguing over, or maybe there's a lawsuit brewing. Calling in a mediator to guide the conversation and ensure everyone is heard can be a far less expensive option and hopefully a lot less heartache. Have a look. Here with us now at Lakeside Manor is Lynn Thompson. She's a, an attorney and a professional mediator. Lynn, this is so interesting to me because you hear these horror stories from families who spend way too much money on litigation, going to court, time wasted, money spent. Uh, this is another alternative, mediation, what is it? It is, absolutely. Mediation is a way to solve a dispute. And it's an opportunity for family members or anyone involved in the dispute to come to the table and have a conversation. So how do you go about doing this for families? After I'm contacted, I talk to the family member. We determine what the scope of the dispute is. And then with permission from the family member, I contact other family members or other people who are involved in the dispute. So you're this third party, how do you remain totally, you're not giving advice to anybody, right? No, I'm, I don't. I don't give advice. I'm a neutral, mm -hmm. and my job is to facilitate the conversation once everybody comes to the table, facilitate that conversation so that it's positive and constructive and calm mm -hmm. and peaceful so that we can work toward a resolution and talk about options. It's an opportunity to talk about options, and it's wonderful because often I see the lights come on when people really start listening to the other people involved in the dispute. Say, I didn't know that was your real interest. And people come to the table often with their positions. Mm -hmm. My job is to get them to get off their positions and get to the heart of what's really going on and get to their real interests. So there's a big difference between positions and true interests. And give us an example of when this has worked out. What was the dispute? Well, it's all confidential. Of course. Mediation uh -huh. is, is <laughs> confidential. Yes. And so I can give you some general stories. Yeah. Very often we have families contact us who, and, and I work in other areas. I don't just work with seniors or family mm -hmm. disputes. My background is as a litigator, civil litigation, so I work in contracts and property and other things. But in this area, very often the dispute is where is mom or dad or grandma or grandpa, where are they going to live? Okay. And the families have all kinds of ideas about and that's where very they're... common. Where it's very common. The elder I... might not want to move, but the son or daughter want them, and right. that's something that you help. Right, I'm sure, Kai, you yeah. have heard these stories <laughs> yes. probably so many times. It's something we talk about on Aging and Awesome, and we've never right. had the opportunity to find a solution that can give someone a resolve, whether it's to the, each party's benefit or not, but uh, that's what you do, is resolve things in an easy and quick way, right? And it's confidential, it's a comfortable setting, attorneys aren't involved, judges aren't involved, right. you don't go to court, and you, the people who are involved in the dispute, they're the decision makers. Mm -hmm. I'm not the decision maker. Mm -hmm. I help them find a solution. Well, I think it's a great resource for matters small and matters large. So thank you so much for coming on the show, Lynn. Thank you so much. If you'd like to get in touch with Lynn Thompson, we have a link on our website, agingandawesome.com.